block drain at Mona Vale, uh, sorry, Manly Vale, down on the northern beaches. That's down the uh, right hand side of the house, down towards the front. Here's the corner of the building, stormwater downpipe. And uh, some bins there that goes across the back of the house there. Just clean the lens. That's across the back of the house there, and there's a clean out just here. It's next to my foot there. That clean out takes down the sewer that way and up across the back of the house. So they're complaining of two block toilets. Everything else seems to be clear, and there's two toilets. There's a wall. You can see that window over there. There's a vent on the side of the house up there, and there's a window, and there's a toilet in there. That's blocked, and there's another toilet to the left. Uh, they seem to be the only things that are blocked. So, we'll go up there. It's clear here. It's not full of water here in this shaft, meaning that, and the pipe's clear there. So, we just went around a bend there, so that's going to the left, over there, to the left of the screen. We go around that bend. That's PVC. That's PVC because a plumber, some other plumbers put in this, this clean-out shaft for the purpose of cleaning the drain. So we'll up here. Okay, you got some roots there. Okay, so we've got a junction there. Gully just there. Okay, go up here. Um, that's the uh, So we've got something going on there. I'm just going to go and flush that toilet. This is all full of roots here. Yeah, that's looking really good. Yeah, see, it's absolutely spotless. That's how I like to leave it. And then when we get up to, that's all. That's all really tight. And then when we get to here, that see that pipe on the left? Yeah. That's left, left, isn't it? That, that's the junction to the gully. Yep. The one in the path uh, near the table. Yep. Okay. Yeah, there's a little bit of root right there. See that? Yes. And that's that's what's grown back. Now I've just gone up that gully and there's a little bit of root growth up in that gully. Yeah. But if I go all the way to the back of the gully, there's the back of the gully, you see the water in the, the trap at the back of the gully. Yeah. So it's just a little bit of root growth there. But if I go up that line, now we're going back up this line. Got a little bit of root growth coming through that one. But it's not blocked. Yet. And then as we go up, oh, yeah. it's all blocked up there. Blocked up there. Right, but if I, the problem here is, so what I'm going to do, I'll get, just get you to watch that. Yeah, yeah. yeah just watch that, because I'm going to go and find that gully. Right, okay. Just watch the screen. Yep. See if something moves. It's my little clear. It's clear with a plunge. But the plunge won't get rid of the trees. I want to see how, how much of it's through. Now, the thing is, if there was something, some foreign object in there, or just a lot of toilet paper, me plunging this, you're just gonna, it's just going to go all over the lens and you're not going to see anything. And if, if, if there was, probably what you should be doing is looking at the screen and just flicking down inside that shaft 
because if there's anything solid, you might see it, because it's a little bit messed up with toilet paper and pieces. Yeah, yeah. And if there's any foreign object in there, it may just pass the camera and just fly off. So screen. just see if I can see it go past. Yeah, just, just keep watching the screen as well. Yeah. Uh, it, it moved a lot of shit, but the camera, I can't see anything on the camera anymore. Simple. I, could see, I could see so it moved, yeah, it moved it. Unless it's unless it's stuck on the camera. Maybe I can just push the camera through. Oh yeah, there's something really big on the camera. Oh, what's that? What's that? Oh, not the gully. Yeah. Oh, what is that? Where? Alright, okay. That's just a big turd or something. Hang on. Is it a turd or is it, is it toilet paper blocked? Oh, it's your tongue. Then, what happened then was it got stuck on the camera. Right, okay. So I just pulled the camera back a little bit. Yeah, okay. What happened then? Yeah. I can't see anything anymore. No, it's, it's, yeah, it's stuck on the stuck on the yeah. lens again. Just watch it. Oh, look, look, look. It's just something really big. That's a big water paper there. That's that's not quite clear because it's on the camera. I think that's just a big one water tool. Push it down. There he is. Look, see? So you see, that's the junction that goes to the other toilet up there. Yeah. 
and that's I've just been up to the toilet up there, so that's that's, that's all. all yeah, that's all clean. But there's just here. Now that's that's the one to the gully. Junction left there. So there's still there's still some. No, not enough. To, yeah, that, that 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 there. Right. Right now, they've grown back in the last seven months. Yeah. But again, I think we we just had a huge big wad of toilet paper. Yeah, yeah. yeah caught up on it. Um, caught up on those roots. Yeah, caught up on those roots. Um, and then you've got just little ones here. They're not enough to block it. See, so little ones coming through here, but that's how yeah. they grow, start growing back. Yeah. Um, yeah, look, I think. Well, they need to be cleaned. They need to be clean them, otherwise it's going to crop again, isn't it? Especially if someone else is staying here. So, your sister's still going to stay here? Just, you're just going to need to be. Oh, now we're going to go yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, because the dad's got much no. Yeah. It, it's just a matter of if anyone else is here, they need to be be wary. Like, once I've cleaned it, yeah. it's treated like, an, like any other sewer line, yeah. but within a three, four, five months, it's going to have root growth back in there. Need it again, yeah. And then, yeah. And then anything large, because that produces. It creates catch points. Yes. So and then, yeah. you know, different well, people have different behaviours. So some people don't use a lot of toilet paper. Other yeah. people use big wads of toilet paper. And if you've got, if you've I, got I these sorts of things, if you've got, well, you know what I think it is, by the way. I, I know because um, paper towels. Yeah. Yeah. I, like, I, I, now tissue paper should, should. Well, tissue paper gets pulverised in the flushing process, right? right? Okay. And, it, and, it, and it all breaks up, and it. it when it just, it's, it's basically well, pulverised. It's, it's possible, Mark. It's possible. Right? But if, it, if, so, if there's an accident on the floor and she used paper towels yeah. or wet wipes or something like that, mm. no good. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know you know the paper towels you put in the kitchen that yeah, you yeah, use yeah. in the kitchen? Yeah, yeah. Because you flush them, they go down in a big ball. Yeah, okay. Whereas toilet, tissue paper from the toilet roll, and if, if you have an accident on the floor and you've got a big mess to clean up, it's unlikely you're going to use toilet paper because it's all going to break up if you do it. Yeah. You know, so well, that's possible then, Mark. Uh, yeah. That's what's happened. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and again, I'm not saying this is what's happened, but sometimes uh, when things like that and people clean up stuff, they go, oh, what are we going to do with this? But they've cleaned it up with a small towel yeah. or something, yeah. and they flush the towel down the toilet, and bam, phew, up I she goes. I don't think you do that. It's that's just that, that whatever that was I cleared, mm -hmm. if it was solid, if even if it was solid toilet paper, I would have been able to push my camera through it, it would have broken up. Right. But it, it didn't. It came down, got caught on the camera, yeah, and, and, it, and as I pulled the camera back, it just kept coming down and down and down. Yeah. And it's it seemed to me big blockage. Yeah. So yeah. what? But anyway, why, anyway, so why, I'll, while you're here, I need to clean it. I'd like you to do it. Yeah, I need to clean it. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, you may lock up in again in another, yeah. another couple of months, and it'll be yeah. Okay. Yeah, leave it with me. I'll get it get it done. Thank you. So I'm only, what I'm going to do. Is that all, I only have to clean this, yeah, right? That's good. But before I go, I'm going to run my camera down all the way down the bottom, which only takes five minutes, yeah, okay. and just double check that down there. Yeah, that's that's normally uh, been been good for us. Yeah, it's normally once we turn this corner here. Yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, that's not bad. Yeah, no, it's better off just checking.
Okay, so we're going to jet that. Okay, so we don't need, didn't need to penetrate these roots, there's not a lot there, um, we could get the camera through the roots, if you can get the camera through the roots you can get a root cutter through the roots. Uh, root cutters only cut the roots out once they pass through the roots, so they don't cut in front. This one, it looks like a jet just there, but it's not, it's a plug, it's for maintenance on this. Uh, this fires out of the back here, so it comes backwards this way goes down the drain like that and it fires out the back like this. So this has to get through the roots before it does the, the cutting. That's why you've got to penetrate through the roots and create a pathway for this to get through before you cut the roots. Okay, so we're just going to go down I can push that up by hand a little bit You can either run the machine and push it up there. So I've got a, I've got a special protective head on my camera. You may have noticed that in other videos that I push the camera up, up to there and push that up. Now that's not damaging my camera head because I've got an aluminium protector on the front, um, on the front of the camera head, which protects the camera head and makes it last longer. It also allows you to do this to push things with the camera without damaging the camera head. Just keep pushing. Okay, so we're there. Okay. Well, you see where that root cutter is? That root cutter's got to be upstream of those roots. So it's nearly upstream. It's, I'll push it to about, about there. That's where we start cutting roots. So the roots are down here. We don't cut roots from the front, we cut roots from the back. So we pass through the roots and then we turn that on and the jet of water is going to come out through that hole there. Through that hole you can see in the end of the jet and it's going to fire forward and 
flies forward at uh, two or three hundred millimeters. It does other things as well, but that's the idea. There you go. Uh, just getting the root cutter up behind all the roots. Just pushing it up by hand. I don't need to clean it, I don't need that black mark to go into the drain right. because beyond that is clean. Right, okay, gotcha. So I know that when I come up and I go back down, I'll know exactly where I'm, where I'm, where I'm at. Just there on the right. Give me that. Thank you. 
few little bits and pieces up there, so I'll see if I can get up there. To do that, I've got a good water jet just there. going up that junction. Get the camera up there. Oh, I might be over. Yep, there we go. You can see him coming through there. bend into the junction so we just got to get rid of that yeah, I'm having a bit of a hose tangle here You've heard of women having bad hair days? Well, I have bad hose days with it. Hoses get tangled and... Anyway.
Beautiful. Turn the water jet machine off. Okay, so I'll just turn that machine off. I'll pull this camera out. Good. Come down. So, okay, so I've just been up into there. Yeah. That's the gully to the um up yeah, in the path. Up to the path. Yeah. And then so if I just pull that out. Yeah. Junction the other toilet. Yeah. yeah I've already been up to yeah, that. Yeah. We don't need to. I don't think we need to check that a little one there. Yeah, okay. um, but what I will we'll do is go back down the hill. Yeah, just for. A bit. See, because these ones up here are more faster growing, more ferocious than those ones, it blocks up here before it, yeah, 
-hmm. So these ones you'll never. Well, yeah. Anyway, so still spot of flower, isn't it? For, for the age of this house, this sewer line is in remarkable condition. Has it got roots? Can you get, well, I haven't seen any broken pipes. So see this here? Yeah. That's that first cap. Right, okay, yep. Just after that little retaining wall? Yep, yep. Right. You know, there's roots here. You'll see there's roots coming through here. Oh, that's, yeah. There's always roots coming through there, yeah. but they're not there. And that's that second shaft. And then you go down that shaft. So now we're going yeah, vertical. Going That's going vertical. Yeah. And then bend at the bottom, and there's some little, there's all those little roots there, but they're just stuck. No, I can't push them. That's why those inspections are good. Yeah. You can get by without that middle one, but you've got to have that bottom one. Yeah. Because you can't get from here all the way to the street. Yeah. Alright. Well, I'll just, I'll just got to pack up now. Okay, so that's the end of that job. It's the end of the video and the job's finished.